Hi, I'm Alex from Tutoring Heroes. Today I'm going to help you with some maths. Let's go and have a look at the problems we're going to solve today. So we're going to subtract using partitioning method. This big word, partitioning, just means to break up the numbers into their ones, their units, and their tens. If you've got big numbers, you'll then break it up into the hundreds as well. We're going to use some small numbers today, so I'm going to do 75 take away 43. So it says partition the first number to begin with. So 70 and 5. I'm not adding, it's just it's like an and sign for now. Don't get confused. We are still doing takeaway, subtraction. Partition the second number. So 40 and 3. Then I'm going to write my equal sign. And it says subtract the units. We always start with the units because this can affect everything else behind it. So 5 take away 3 equals 2. Subtract the tens, 70 take away 40, or if I want to make it a little bit easier, I can ignore those zeros there and imagine that says seven tens take away four tens, which I know is three tens, but I must make sure that I know it's 30. And it says combine your answer. I'm not adding, I'm just combining them. So it's 30 and two. So the answer is 32. So even though there's some add signs, don't let that get you confused. Very quickly, I want to show you what happens if you can't take away the units. So imagine I had 75 take away 49 this time. So I break up that first number, 70 and 5. Break up the second number, 40 and 9. Subtract the units. I always start with that top number, 5 take away 9. Now imagine I've got 5 fingers. Can I take away 9 fingers? No, I haven't got enough. So I'm going to need to do something else. I can't just do 9 take away 5. It doesn't work that way. So we're going to borrow a 10 or transfer a 10 over so that we can use it to solve this. So I go over to the 70. I take away one of the tens and leave 60 behind and I put one of the tens over into the unit section. So I've just taken that 10 over. Now I can do 15 take away 9, which I can do. I know the answer is 6. Then I carry on, I do subtract the tens. 6 tens take away 4 tens is 2 tens. Then I combine my answer, 20 and 6 is 26, and there's my answer. So it's the same method, but if you do not have enough units in this top number, you will need to transfer a 10 so that you can carry on. Thanks for watching this video today, brought to you by Tutoring Heroes.